Chillicothe, Ohio. Chillicothe is a city in, in the county seat of Ross County, Ohio, United States. Located along the Scioto River 45 miles south of Columbus, Chillicothe was the first and third capital of Ohio. It is the only city in Ross County and the center of the Chillicothe Micropolitan Statistical Area, as defined by the United States Census Bureau in 2003. The population was 21,901 at the 2010 census. Chillicothe is a designated Tree City USA by the National Arbor Day Foundation. Chillicothe was the first and third capital of Ohio and is located in southern Ohio along the Scioto River. The town's name comes from the Shawnee Chala Middle. Middle. The, named after one of the five major divisions of the Shawnee people, as it was the chief settlement of that tribal division. The Shawnee and their ancestors inhabited the territory for thousands of years prior to European contact. At the time of European American settlement, the community was plotted by General Nathaniel Massey on his land grant. Modern Chillicothe was the center of the ancient Hopewell tradition, which flourished from 200 BC until 580. This Amerindian culture had trade routes extending to the Rocky Mountains. They built earthen mounds for ceremonial and burial purposes throughout the Scioto and Ohio River valleys. Later Native Americans who inhabited the area through the time of European contact included Shawnees. Present day Chillicothe is the most recent of seven locations in Ohio that bore the name, because it was applied to the main town wherever the Chillicothe settled. Other population centers named Chillicothe in Ohio at one time include one located at present day Piqua, in Miami County, one located south of present day Circleville. Pickaway County, on the Scioto River, a third about three miles north of Xenia in Greene County, Ohio, a fourth at present-day Frankfurt, Ross County, on Paint Creek, and a fifth also located in Ross County, at Hopetown, three miles north of modern Chillicothe. According to historian Charles Augustus Hanna, a Shawnee village was founded at the site of modern-day Chillicothe in late 1758, following the destruction of Lower Shawnee Town by flood. It was after the American Revolution that most European settlement came to this area. Migrants from Virginia and Kentucky moved west along the Ohio River in search of land. Chillicothe served as the capital of Ohio from the beginning of statehood in 1803 until 1810 when Zanesville became the capital for two years. The capital was moved to Zanesville as part of a state legislative compromise to get a bill passed. In 1812 the legislature moved the capital back to Chillicothe. In 1816 the state legislature voted to move the capital to its current site, Columbus, to have it near the geographic center of the state, considered more accessible given early 19th century transportation. Ohio was a free state, and early migrants to Chillicothe included free blacks, who came to a place with fewer restrictions than in the slave states. They created a vibrant community and aided runaway slaves coming north. As tensions increased prior to the breakout of the American Civil War, the free black community at Chillicothe maintained stations and aid to support refugees on the Underground Railroad. The Ohio River was a border with the slave states of the South, with slaves crossing the river to freedom, and then up the Scioto River to get more distance from their former homes and slave hunters. White abolitionists aided the Underground Railroad as well. Chillicothe is located at 39.336525. Minus 82.983822. It lies within the eco region of the western Allegheny Plateau. It lies between the Scioto River and Paint Creek near their confluence. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of, of which is land and is water. The city is surrounded by farming communities, and Chillicothe residents describe the area as the foothills of the Appalachians. As the only city in the area, Chillicothe is a hub for economic activity. Malls, hospitals, prisons and a college campus are among the largest employers, but the most notable employer in the area is a glad filter paper mill, formerly Mead Paper, that has been in operation for over 100 years. The mill can sometimes create noxious odors, which residents refer to as the smell of money. As of the census of 2010, there were 21,901 people, 9,420 households, and 5,559 families residing in the city. The population density was. There were 10,600 housing units at an average density of. The racial makeup of the city was 88.1% white, 7.2% African American, 0.3% Native American, half a percent Asian, half a percent from other races, and 3.4% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 1.3% of the population.
there were 9,420 households of which 27.5% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 39.1% were married couples living together, 14.9% had a female householder with no husband present, 5.0% had a male householder with no wife present, and 41.0% were non-families. 34.6% of all households were made up of individuals and 14.3% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.25 and the average family size was 2.87. The median age in the city was 41.5 years. 21.8% of residents were under the age of 18, 7.7% were between the ages of 18 and 24, 24.8% were from 25 to 44. 27.8% were from 45 to 64, and 17.9% were 65 years of age or older. The gender makeup of the city was 47.6% male and 52.4% female. As of the census of 2000, there were 21,796 people, 9,481 households, and 5,754 families residing in the city. The population density was 2,283.7 people per square mile, 882.1 per square kilometer. There were 10,303 housing units at an average density of 1,079.5 per square mile, 417.0 per square kilometer. The racial makeup of the city was 89.21% white, 7.51% African American, 0.34% Native American. 0.56% Asian, 0.04% Pacific Islander, 0.35% from other races, and 2.00% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 0.84% of the population. There were 9,481 households out of which 25.8% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 43.5% were married couples living together. 13.3% had a female householder with no husband present, and 39.3% were non-families. 34.3% of all households were made up of individuals and 14.8% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.24 and the average family size was 2.85. In the city the population was spread out with 22.2% under the age of 18, 8.4% from 18 to 24, 27.1% from 25 to 44, 24.1% from 45 to 64, and 18.2% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 40 years. For every 100 females, there were 88.1 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 83.3 males. The median income for a household in the city was $33,991, and the median income for a family was $42,477. Males had a median income of $35,199 versus $25,010 for females. The per capita income for the city was $19,101. About 9.3% of families and 12.4% of the population were below the poverty line including 14.3% of those under age 18 and 9.3% of those age 65 or over. Chillicothe is governed by a mayor-council structure in which the mayor is elected separately from the members of the city council. Chillicothe's mayor is Luke Feeney, D. The members of the city council are Chillicothe has several public parks, including Yachtangi Park, Poland Park, Strasser Park, Manor Park, Goldie Gunlock Park, Pine Street Park, Veterans Memorial Park, and Western View Park. The biggest park, Yachtangi Park, consists of numerous baseball-slash-softball fields, tennis courts, basketball courts, and playground equipment. There is also a skate park within Yachtangi Park called Henry Good Skate Park, which was constructed with help from a generous donation of $65,000 from Henry Good, a local Chillicothe citizen. Chillicothe's Flood Wall Protecting the city from floods of the Scioto River, has a 5.0-mile-long paved bike path. This path connects to the Tri-County Triangle Trail which currently is 30.3 miles long, measured from Bridge Street, SR 159, in Chillicothe, passing through Frankfurt and then to Christman Park near Washington Courthouse. The Tri-County Triangle Trail's goal is to connect Chillicothe and Greenfield. This same former railroad continues to Jamestown and Xenia 
but those connections are a long-range plan. Hopewell Culture National Historical Park is found on the north end of the city. The park is administered by the National Park Service and has a large concentration of Native American earthworks. A branch of Ohio University, Ohio University Chillicothe is a public four-year institution that offers 13 associate degree programs and 8 bachelor's degree programs. About 2,500 students are enrolled each year. The city of Chillicothe provides education for preschool through grade 12 students. The Chillicothe City School District includes the following facilities, Allen Elementary, Mount Logan Elementary, previously Mount Logan Middle School, Tiffin Elementary, Worthington Elementary, Chillicothe Middle School, and Chillicothe High School. Additionally, Wesley Taylor Preparatory Academy offers private education. Bishop Flaggett Catholic School, the Parish School of St. Mary's and St. Peter's Catholic Churches, offers an academic program with a faith-based component to both Catholic and non-Catholic families for students in pre-kindergarten through 8th grade. Chillicothe is the home of Pickaway Ross Career and Technology Center, located at 895 Cruz Chapel Road. Founded in 1974, Pickaway Ross Career and Technology Center or Pickaway Ross, is the operational arm of the Pickaway Ross Joint Vocational School District. Pickaway Ross offers 20 high school tech prep programs to students from 10 high schools in Ross and Pickaway counties. High school students attend Pickaway Ross their junior and senior years, and can earn a career passport in addition to a diploma from their home schools. The high school, or secondary education, Side of Pickaway Ross serves approximately 600 students on its main campus and another 1,500 students in off-campus, or satellite, programs housed in affiliated high schools. School districts affiliated with Pickaway Ross include, Adena, Chillicothe, Huntington, Paint Valley, Southeastern, Unioto, and St. Trace in Ross County, and Circleville, Logan Elm and Westfall in Pickaway County. In addition to high school programs, Pickaway Ross boasts a full-service adult education division, offering a wide array of programs in skilled trades, public safety and medical services fields, to name a few. Pickaway Ross is a regional leader in career tech education. Chillicothe is also home to the Recording Workshop, an audio engineering school. Chillicothe City is served by the main branch and north side branch of Chillicothe and Ross County Public Library. Chillicothe is home to the 158-year-old continuously operating Majestic Theater. Its stage has been graced by such greats as Laurel and Hardy, Milton Berle, George Arliss, Sophie Tucker, and many others. In 1853 the Masonic Hall was built, as the first incarnation of what is now the Majestic Theater. The two-story brick building was a combination lodge room, dance hall, and theater. Stock companies stayed for as long as a month performing a repertory of plays. In 1876 the Masons appointed a building committee to enlarge their building. The original building was 40 feet x 100 feet and was extended to 50 feet by 120 feet upon completion in December 1876 it was announced that the Masonic Opera House was one of the finest theaters in the state. After the remodeling and with the completion of the Clough Opera House across the city, theater offerings were tremendous, and varied drama, comedy, farce, Minstrel shows and operas were presented. In 1904 a. R. Wolf bought the Masonic Opera House. Mr. Wolf remodeled the theater and enlarged the stage. He replaced all the windows in the front of the building with stained glass windows. The Masonic Opera House continued under Wolf's managerial abilities until he sold it to the Myers Brothers in 1915. They again made some improvements and repairs and installed a movie screen and equipment. The Myers Brothers changed the name to the Majestic Theater. They occasionally had live theater productions on the stage but finally switched exclusively to motion pictures. In July 1971, Harley and Evelyn Bennett became the new owners of the Majestic Theater. They did careful restoration with reference to the original wall painting. Three Chillicothe businessmen bought the theater as a non profit organization in 1990. All new wiring throughout the theater, fire safety, and security systems were installed. Chillicothe, rich in Native American history, hosts the annual Feast of the Flowering Moon Festival. Started in 1984, the May Festival draws crowds of approximately 85,000. Yachtanji Park, in the historic downtown, is the setting for this family-oriented, three-day event featuring Native American music, dancing, traders and exhibits, a mountain men encampment, rendezvous with working craftsmen and demonstrations, and an extensive arts and crafts show with more than 80 crafters and commercial exhibits.
The main stage has a schedule of family-friendly entertainment, such as local school bands and performers. The streets are lined with food booths and game slash contests. Events are free to the public. On the Friday and Saturday after Labor Day in September, Chillicothe hosts the annual Southern Ohio Storytelling Festival. The festival features concert performances by several highly acclaimed and award-winning storytellers. Storytelling concerts are held throughout the day on both Friday and Saturday. Thousands of students participate during the day on Friday in various venues, including the Majestic Theater, a tent at the Pump House Art Gallery in Yachtinchi Park, and local school auditoriums. The Chillicothe Paints are a baseball team that was established in February 1993. The team was previously a member of the Frontier League. Now a member of the Summer Collegiate Prospect League, the Paints played in the Independent Frontier League from the 1993 season until the end of the 2008 season. They were one of the original teams in the league. The Paints play their home games at VA Memorial Stadium, which opened in 1954. As the VA Memorial Stadium can be turned into a field for many uses, it also plays host to numerous sports events such as the MAC Division Baseball Playoffs, OSA Soccer Playoffs, and OSA Baseball Playoffs. In June, the streets of Chillicothe near Yachtanchi Park are blocked off to accommodate temporary courts for the Gus Macker 3 on 3 basketball competition. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.